cleaning her out. Gotta somehow move the bikes. They'll probably go in the camper. <sighs> Saying goodbye to Rocket. <laughs> Hi. Getting most of everything we need out. And then we gotta move it all to the truck we rented. Yes, it's new. No, it's not ours. It's gotta fit all the stuff in there. And get the camper on it. Hopefully it fits. I've never done this before. Make sure that I don't hit the camper, of course. Lindsay? Yep. And we're going to study it once we get it set up. So watch where the bumper goes. And we're going to study and see how we can get these ports. Okay. Okay. And I'm listening to you. Because, oh, the wheel wells, you're going to need to move, you're going to need to move it to the, this, to the left, to the passenger side. Okay. Keep coming. Wait. All right, back. Yeah, I think we're lined up as good as we're going to be. How's the clearance on the roof? Uh, oh, you're perfect. There's plenty. All right, wait. Yeah. Okay. Okay, wait. Oh, this thing overhangs a lot. It's going to overhang a lot. That uh on our flatbed, we back up completely up to the butt and here we're at the end. <laughs> it's all the way up here, and there's still several inches that is not in. So it's a little strange. It? Yeah, it's gonna have to. There it is. It didn't squat that much, babe. It's not done yet. Okay. I mean, the low's kind of, the back's kind of low. It's heavy.
second most stressful day ever. <laughs> Just nice and slow? Yes, nice and slow. Nice and slow. This strap is loose right here. This yellow one. What's up? We're on a crazy drive. tell you about how we tied down the truck. Yeah. Actually. It's not mentioning. Yeah. 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 This is not a commercial for Lance or for Dodge or Ford for that matter. This is not how you do it, but we were out of options. In fact, we thought it would almost be easier to buy a truck camper in Brazil <laughs> than to figure out how the heck to get this camper back to Wyoming. When those are your options, you're in desperation mode. Yeah. So here we are, in desperation mode. Slowly and steadily plugging along. We should be crossing into Wyoming shortly, about 10, 15 miles. Yay, Wyoming. Boo, Utah. Yeah. 
We were all excited about Utah before all the yeah, slide canyons we, we were, were gonna do. With the all crazy the, weather. The astrophotography, we were gonna get stars out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, I honestly don't care if I ever come back. No offense if you are from Utah. Actually, we did promise our friends that we would come back and see them on our way out. Vegas. <laughs> yeah, but don't we have to drive through Utah to get we'll to Las around. Vegas? It's a long way around. We'll go through Idaho and drop down into Oregon and then California. You'd rather do California than Utah? California didn't break my truck. <laughs> we could go down through Colorado and then through yeah. New Mexico yeah. and then into Arizona. We've got a long time before we get there. We've got quite a few months to square away in Wyoming. Pay off this ordeal somehow. Some way. Considering working in the oil fields. Uh, how crazy is that? We're considering moving to Alaska for a whole year. How crazy is that? To work in the oil fields or to teach? To teach. Probably pay more in the oil fields there than Wyoming. It's Alaska. It's not about money, but we realize it's about money. So we've been really blessed with our GoFundMe. Speaking of oil, oil yeah. only, only. There's two of those things. All right, well, 20 more miles on the interstate, and then we're off the interstate, and then we're in freaking mule deer country. They're everywhere. No fewer than 20 carcasses on our drive down. We don't Eastern. worry about the antelope, but considering that we had like twice two different groups of antelope. <laughs> Did you see the honking at them in the Oh uh, Yeah, I slowed down, and then the cow that walked out in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> Only in Wyoming. <laughs> but I was ready for that cow to walk out in front of me, so. <laughs> and that single antelope when I when I heard it off the other ones. You had that yeah, that was on the way to Billings, right? No, the one was antelope. Yesterday. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. We've seen thousands of antelope. The I antelope are smart, and they usually don't run out in front of you like the deer do. Um, yesterday, there were six of them in the road. And they were just running along the road, hauling butt. Had to move. There's one guy over on the right, so we slowed down because I could tell he wanted to cross. He was panicked that his buddies left. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't want him to jump in front of you. So we were two car in it yesterday. Yep. Was it yesterday? No. It was yesterday. It was. Oh yeah, because I had to drive the I had to drive the Nissan yeah. back to it's been Utah. Long. That's been crazy. It's been crazy. We'll talk oh, about what we have to do. Yep. Once we get where we're, we're going. We're losing battery, so. Alright. Bye! Home stretch. 
artist is blocking the. This is how we know we're on the home stretch. This is it. This is how we know we are close to Thermopolis. Yep. Our home away from home. This beautiful canyon is probably near the top. Best 15 miles in America. Is it 15 miles long? It's about that. Really? Yeah. Wow. I mean, we're seven. I don't know. Babe, <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, you just like. I'm clocking it right now. All I know is that this stretch of road is my favorite. I mean, the Dalton Highway is your was beautiful. Yeah. Hmm? But in terms of like the most condensed little area, you know that road into Yellowstone out of Cody? Yeah. That was that pretty, was pretty nice. Mm -hmm. But it was long. It was like 60 miles of it. It was beautiful. But this is like condensed. This, this canyon right here is awesome. I love it. I'm going to climb that mountain right there before I leave. Okay. Good luck up. getting over there. I'm just happy we are within 14 minutes of pulling in a driveway. Yay! Don't say it yet. We did. We're not quite there. However, if something happened to us right here, pretty <laughs> much home. It's been a crazy, what, two and a half weeks? Oh, it's still not over yet. But getting this thing back to Thermopolis, that's huge. It's very huge. That's a, that's a game changer for peace of mind. We're gonna have one we're more crazy trip to make. House back. Well, two more. Yeah, getting our house well, back. Well, not crazy. We're just driving a car. No, that's this crazy. Is we crazy. Gotta, we gotta go to Montana to get the car to yeah. drive to Utah to haul the truck to drive to Montana to drop off the car to catch a ride back to Wyoming. I'm gonna write a country song about okay. that. <laughs> Utah uh, to Wyoming. Wyoming to Montana. Montana to, to Wyoming. Wyoming and back to Utah again. <laughs> I'm never going back to Utah. Don't say never. I'm never going back to Utah. That wind today could have knocked a buffalo over. <laughs> I think it did. Yeah. <laughs> They're all laying on their side. They were all Yeah, 50 plus mile an hour wind gusts. That's like almost a hurricane force wind. And they say it was gusty, but I went outside to pee. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be careful when you pee into 50 mile an hour wind. <laughs> yeah. You don't pee into the wind. In case you're a, a young boy and you haven't learned that yet. All men better know better by now. But I was like, I was putting up Olympic distance peas because <laughs> I'd pee and the wind would get under it and it would carry it like 15 feet. Wow. My pee trail was pretty awesome. When we came through here the night before Easter, I guess it was Friday, Good Friday. Yeah. The, there was a full moon behind us. And the canyon walls were lit up. Like silver. We thought there was snow everywhere. Yeah, we it thought was it was so silver. Snow. And then when we came back through in the morning, we were like a little disappointed because we yeah. thought we were going to see a bunch of snow. There were patches and of it. Just little patches, but yeah, the There's moon made patches. the canyon walls like silver, really silver. But it was just is beautiful. In fact, we won't have a vehicle for a long time. But when we get a vehicle for a full moon, it'll be fun to come back out here. Yeah, it's been uh, right almost six hours. We started out really slow. It's not bad. I, we thought, I thought it was going to be at least seven or eight. And, well, I'm not uh, going to tell you how fast I was going. Yeah, I saw how fast you were going. I got to 80. Yeah. I just wanted to get home. Yeah, we all butt. We came across some sheep. Oh, the sheep were awesome. Yeah, there was like thousands of sheep. They're just free ranging out there. There were two, uh, I guess you'd call them shepherds. Yeah. yeah. And, that were keeping them from the road, I guess. Yeah, we, we pulled up and Lindsay bought it. I rolled the window down and I bought at the sheep and they started running. <laughs> she scared them. She must have been speaking. And then like the guy terrible. was laughing. 
Were you speaking a terrorist sheep language? I was afraid he was going to be mad, but he was just laughing at us. Maybe they thought you were a wolf in sheep's clothing. Maybe. Yeah. I can tell you that's the closest we've ever gotten to any animal on the side of the road because we're not in Rocket, which is sad. Oh, yeah. But Rocket scares everything within about 700 feet away. Except for black bears. Yeah. <laughs> we're too busy eating. When we pop out of the canyon, we're going to be at the Wedding of the Waters, which is where the Wind River turns into the Bighorn River. It's technically the same river. Same river. <laughs> it just changes names. Yeah. And then we go for about three miles past that. We enter the friendly town of Thermopolis. Our favorite small town in America. Favorite small town in America. If 23 people visit Thermopolis, it's not going like, to bust us here. No. Hopefully by the time this video is out, we've got like 47 views. That would be nice. On average, yeah. That'd be awesome. We'll have, oh, we've got some videos with like over a hundred views. That's because I go back and I watch them. <laughs> no. <laughs> I actually pay kids in China to watch our videos for ten cents a minute. Chris, we it's can't. We can't afford to do that. It's good business. Hey, <laughs> it takes money to make money, right? <laughs> I love this game. I'm gonna float down this river. out of there with fly rod. Speed limit goes from 65 to 45 right here, so all the trucks break through the night. Go Harvey! Yeah, great go. park, great people, great owners. Yeah. Go we'll see them tomorrow.
Made it. Yes. What a crazy, crazy drive. Tie downs. Man. Nice and secure. And no, those are not permanent, I promise. Is that just unwrap? I guess so. Yeah, good timing. I thought you'd pulled it out, but it might have come out and we didn't notice it. Come here, let's, let's talk about this. Yep. Do not recommend this at home. However. But for emergency situations? Yeah. It so actually seems, did pretty decent. The camper rated, didn't move. For like 12,000 pounds, they're not going to yeah. rip on that. So pretty solid. Our jack we were kind of worried about, except this is actually where we jack or where we uh, tie down on our truck. For the so, flatbed, yeah. Yeah, so I knew that this was going to be solid. I mean, it's got these bolts here. Everything can break, but, but that was solid. And then they've got a hook inside. There's actually two places to hook in there. But we hooked to the frame. So we were able to hook the truck. inside um, with the red one. So that kind of kept it from left, right. And then we hooked down to the truck to make sure we had the forward pull. And then in the rear, that was an easy one. That just went underneath the bumper to the frame of the, of the truck. Gotta remember, gotta go to the frame, not to any part that's um, plastic yeah, or fake metal that will just break off. So, uh, yeah, so both sides look this way. She didn't rock a whole lot on the, uh, on the drive. Yeah. We got a little bit. Of course, the first 60 miles, 70 miles were on the highway. She so. might have moved half an inch. It's not flush yeah. anymore, but still. I'll give her that. Still, Half did an good. inch is not bad. Yeah, we um, we got her here in good time. Are you flipping out? I don't know. What does it look like? I don't want to know. It doesn't look like home. Oh my gosh. It doesn't look that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. Nothing rattling yet. No. You got it. And she's off. Oh, wow. Yay! <laughs> I made it. Woo!